working with Excel will always encounter challenges, regardless if you are a beginner or an advanced user. But now with ChatGPT Data Analyst, we can overcome virtually any challenge. In this video, we are going to write an Excel formula to return italic characters from cells. If you are an advanced user, you probably know there's no such function with Excel to do that. Yes, you're right, there's no such function. However, we are going to use ChatGPT Data Analyst to help us to write a custom function to make this impossible task into a reality. Here we have five cells with some sentences, and each sentence will have some characters are in italic font. Like in cell A1, we have practical skills, and here super Excel courses are in italic. And here we have the career edge in italic. Here we have business logic and complex problems and professional reports and expert instructor. So we wish to write a formula over here on the side, and the formula will return to us only the italic characters. Honestly, I do not know how to do this. And also, I believe most Excel users, including many of those advanced users, they do not know how to handle this either. But now we have ChatGPT data analyst. We do not necessarily need to know everything. We can ask ChatGPT to help us. So we're going to throw this file into ChatGPT data analyst. Let's see how it handles this. Now I'm at my web browser. I'm in ChatGPT data analyst. And I'm going to drag my Excel file into ChatGPT Data Analyst. And my prompt will be I need to use formula to retrieve the italic characters from the range A1 to A5. Please create formulas in range B1 to B5 to accomplish that and export the file for me. Thanks. And then I will click this button to send the message. So here, this is the response from ChatGPT Data Analyst. It says it will first create a custom function in VBA, and it will prepare the necessary VBA script and apply it to your Excel file. And then it encounters some errors. It appears that my attempt to directly manipulate VBA code within the Excel file isn't supported in the current environment. So ChatGPT Data Analyst suggests an alternative, which is for us to add the VBA function into Excel ourselves and provide it the step-by-step -step instructions how to do so. And here, this is the VBA code we could add in. And then ChatGPT created this Excel file with the formula placed in that range B2 to B5. And the function is called get italic characters. So here I can click on this link to download this Excel file. This is the Excel file ChatGPT Data Analyst has prepared, which I have downloaded. I do see in the range from B1 to B5, ChatGPT Data Analyst has prepared the formula, and the formula is get italic character, and all the five cells that have a similar formula, just using different cell to calculate. At this time, they're all giving this error. This is because we have not added the VBA code into the Excel file yet. So now let me go back to the ChatGPT data analyst. And this is the VBA code. I can click on this copy code to copy that. Now let me go back to the Excel file. In order to copy the VBA code into this Excel file, I need to open Microsoft Visual Basic for application, which I can do by holding the Alt key, then press F11. Then that open the VBA. And according to the instruction given by ChatGPT Data Analyst, I need to click on this Insert tab, then to insert a module. And now we have this module one being inserted, and we don't have any code yet, but I have copied the code. Now I can do Ctrl V to paste that in. And then I will close the VBA by using this top right corner, this cross. And now my formula is still giving this error. That's because the formula needs to recalculate. If I click into this first cell, then press Enter again. Now Excel recalculate will give me the right result. In the first cell, A1, we do have the words practical skills and super Excel courses are italic that have been written by its formula. 
A second one, career edge being returned. The third one, business logic and complex problem. Those are italic being returned. And then we'll have the professional reports being returned. We'll have expert instructor being returned. So the formula did the job, returned only those italic characters. Now you may wonder, how can those blank in between the two words are being returned too? Like this career blank and edge. How come that blank being returned? Because blank is not italic. Actually, this is not really a blank, it's a space. You have to press the space bar to enter the space. So this space actually is italic. I can prove to you by go inside the cell, double click to go inside. If I now select this space, you notice over here in the home tab, in the fun group, this I is on, which means this space is italic. Now I could change this to be not italic. So I can turn off, I click on this I. Now this space is not italic anymore. That means if I press enter, then that space will not be italic, then this formula would not return that space anymore. Now if I enter, you see that formula did not give me the space anymore because now that space is not italic. The formula only returned the italic characters. So here you have it. This is a task most Excel users consider as impossible. And I did not have that knowledge and skill either. But now the job is done. In this era of AI, we are empowered. Whatever challenge you encounter within Excel, you can simply drop that Excel file into ChatGPT data analyst and ask. You will be amazed at how much you can accomplish. I did create a lot of videos showing you how ChatGPT data analyst write very complex nested Excel formulas with those built-in functions. And also I'll show you how to add data analysis into your ChatGPT account. In case you're interested in watching that video, I have provided the link in the description below. If you find this video beneficial, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel as I continue to share with you how ChatGPT data analyst and Microsoft Copilot Pro making us the most powerful Excel users. Thank you.